is in. Let's get busy. Hello, fellas. Well, look, here's uh, this video is about making this bowl here. And it's a bunch of walnut scraps and resin. And the tops and bottom is a yellow pine with a little uh, golden pecan stain on it to give it a little more of a yellow look. But anyway, what I wanted to uh, talk to you about real quick, now I'll try to make it brief as I can. I uh, just uh, went deer hunting last week. I had to let four of them walk. They weren't big enough, but that's neither here nor there. But before I went, I, I poured all of this up and you know, I used this bowl here for a mold and my resin saver, which is, you know, a block of wood in the center so they don't waste a bunch of resin, was just uh, three two by sixes uh, glued together and turned down to where, where they fit in the center of that. And I used uh, thick set, total bulk thick set to pour it up with. Which it's got three colors in it. It's got gold, blue, purple, and well, it's got four colors in red. So it's got four colors in it. But what I want to tell you, when I got back, well, before I went to deer camps, when I poured this up, well, I took my camera to deer camp with me, so I unloaded the SD card before I went, put it on my computer, copied the files off, and just left it. Well, when I got back, that hard drive, it wouldn't come up, it crashed. So um, I mean, I just couldn't make it do nothing, you know. But luckily, I had everything backed up on another hard drive. However, I backed it up before I downloaded those SD cards, or that SD card. So I didn't, you know, so I didn't have it. So we, we pick up with it, be on the lathe and start turning. I, I really don't think you missed too much. You've seen all this kind of stuff before. But anyway, I was going to just tell you, <coughs> My wife said she got really mad at me today, so I, I'm out here a little longer than, than normal. But uh, <clears throat> I got back and I was going to town to get something. And she said, uh, well, you know, you're going by that new grocery store over there. If I buy uh, running in and getting me some, some milk and bread and a couple of other items, I said, well, sure, sure, no problem. So, you know, I, I went and done all that kind of stuff. I, I came back and I went in the house and she said, where's my stuff? And I said, uh, I said, well, you know, I got to that new store. Never been here before. There's a big old sign on the door that says no food and drink inside. So I left. Oh, well. Hmm. See ya. Well, hello. Well, I've got this thing on here, and I'm going to uh, see if I can't knock some of them off. We'll see, man. I your feet there. We. This will need a face shield, that's for sure. All right, let's see what we got here. See what it looks like with some cedar on it now. Get this out of my way. Well, I am not stingy with cedar like a lot of these guys. It ain't that expensive. I want it to soak in. Alright, I got it pretty well coated and I had to hit it with a little bit of 400 in a couple places and some scotch Bright. but I am ready to uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use some Axe Paste on it right now normally I don't at this stage well lots of times I do but I want to see what it's going to look like all shined up and if I need to do anything else to it now bear in mind you guys, I don't know if you guys do much of epoxy or not, but you got you got wood and epoxy, wood and epoxy, and 
sometimes you know they don't they don't sand real smooth because when you're sanding, you know it it hits the softer and then the harder and it it, it doesn't sand really super even. I need to turn on my air. Be right back. Got a few little places in here, little bitty ones. I'm going to just leave them out. I'll be make a bigger mess out of trying to clean them up. Sort of like that one last cut thing, you know. This is my favorite paste here, Axe. Comes out of Pennsylvania. Good friend Tom and Annette. Axe abrasive sanding paste. It really, really works well. And the price is right. This is where you get your shine. A lot of people don't do this long enough, including me a lot of times. This is sort of like uh, sanding with 6,000 grit or something. Get a paper towel and we'll start to see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Well, that looks pretty good. Sometimes that walnut, especially on the end grain, don't want to shine too good. But looks good and feels good. All kinds of colors in there. There's purple and red and gold. And some more red in there. I think there's three basic colors in there. All right. Let's move on. I'm going to go ahead and drill my death hole here. Shouldn't be too hard. This pine's not very hard. You know that run? Yeah, about 200 and something. Nothing too exciting. cleaned out. <clears throat> I'm going to be turning it a gram. Right there, so much. Uh oh, we in trouble. See what I'm seeing? Hmm. Okay, change the plans in. I'm gonna have to get this. Uh, I can see now. Why that saran wrap is a problem. See, this this is not attached to that. So what I'm gonna have to do is come in here.
clean it out and I'll put some, uh, take it off here and I'll put some thick CA all the way around here. All right. <clears throat> I'm not real sure what kind of wood this is. It's got a little bit of yellow to it. Uh, just something I had. And heavy smell. It doesn't appear to be too hard. I don't think it's pine. I really don't know. I guess maybe you guys figure it out. Anyway, <clears throat> this is going to be the bottom of my bowl, and this will be the top ring. So I'm going to go over to the bandsaw and cut off the top one, and then I'm going to show you how to cut this one out without having to drill a hole and use like a saber saw. I can use the bandsaw to cut this one out. So I'll catch you in a little bit. All right, I've got this one all cut out. So, uh... I'll use a small bandsaw with a quarter inch blade, but what I'll do is I'll come in here, let's see right, here's a good one, and see, <clears throat> see that grain line right here? I'll come in with a saw and follow this and then proceed to go around it like that. And that way, when I get this out, that's got that thin cut right there, I can take and glue it back together and with some wood glue and you'll never know it. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll catch you All after right. done. <clears throat> so this this will be the bottom now. A little thick, but I can cut it down. So that's ready to be glued on the bottom. And here's the top ring. Now you, you see where see where I went in right here? What I'm gonna do is put some glue in there and then clamp that back together. Yeah. Uh, you'll never see it. Okay, I'll get that done and I'll see you later. All right, I'm getting ready to epoxy this on. Now to do this the way I do it, you'll need the following items. You'll need a drill with a small drill bit. Naturally, you'll use epoxy. I'm using 30 minute epoxy by Great Plains. You'll need a soda can, optional. You need a little old stirring stick and you need a piece of real rough sandpaper. Now, I made this, this lip is, long, is smaller than what I wanted to do. But what I always do, <clears throat> the MCA glue on it, run on it, come off. Oh well, <clears throat> getting back to this. What I always do is I come in here on this lip and the wooden one, and I come in here and I drill small holes at an angle. Usually it's bigger than this, but we'll see. When it starts and you turn sideways, what you want to do is undercut this hole. And you can alternate them or whatever, and it just it doesn't have to be very deep. But it needs the undercut. See what that does, the epoxy gets in there and then it goes underneath it. And you've got a for sure forever fixing place. to be a whole bunch of them. Oh, yeah, I get it. <clears throat> and after you do that, I'm going to take you some real rough sandpaper and scar it up pretty good. No intention of this coming off. See the scratches it makes me. You see the additional places. And you do the same thing to the wood. You want to blow all these holes out. soda can. Uh, this is a 50-50 mix, but I don't get too excited about it. What I do, is, this is almost gone. I look at the level on both of them. Oh, there we go. I look at the level on both of them, and then I compare it. Maybe. And 
And this is this is not like casting epoxy. You don't have to spend your whole life stirring. Can really works good. I very seldom ever. No, I have never seen anybody else use a bottom of it. They always use a piece of paper or something. I prefer this is all right to your hand and you just throw it in trash. No cleanup, no mess, no nothing. All right, that ought to get it. And we'll do a little smear in here. Make sure you get down in there those holes. I see I already got my duck in the center right there, like so. Okay, I'm bringing it up here just a little so I can do it like that. And then I just go ahead and snug it up. And we will come back tomorrow. Well, this is all good and set up now. Set up, set there overnight. I always let them sit overnight. I'm gonna, first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to just square up the bottom and uh, mark my tenon. And then I'm going to put this live center back and work on this. Like I said, I don't have a very big lip for this to glue on, and I don't really trust it at this point. And, but uh, you know, I don't think it'll go anywhere. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. I've been sorry before. Where the heck? Oh, there it is. All right, let's see what we got going here. I'm going to dust off of my face mask here. And uh, let's do it. Ooh, it is coming off, but I just, I don't know. You've been burned as many times as I have, and you get a little gunshot. Look at this, the more I'm thinking that's just plain away every day pine. Not exactly what I wanted, but it's what I got. But I'll deal with it. I may, I may, uh, I may stay in. I'm thinking about that. Pine's not a very pretty wood. In fact, it's almost ugly. Let's worth it up to about a grand here. See what we can do with this.
I forgot about them. Got them too deep, I guess. Hmm. Well, kiss my behind. Dummy, 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 two by four. Ah, no way to do anything there but fill them, is there? Huh. What was you thinking? Okay. What I'm going to do is we make a very tiny little place right there and then make me a, a burn line, a wide burn line across it right here. But you got to have just a little bit of a starting place where it doesn't work. I will stain that with that light pecan just to give it a little bit of color so that the uh, rain shows so, up. So let's see what happens here. It's running. Just a touch. We'll put this back in the refrigerator. And I learned the hard way. You got to keep it in the refrigerator. This was, my friends, a very fine product. Starbond Medium Black CA. I got a cold down in the comments. And I will put it on the video itself right below what I'm saying here. Because a lot of people watch it on TV and they can't get to the comments. All right, I meant to say in the description, not the comments. Sorry about that. Old age is creeping up on me. Another 20 years. Then you tell me what I'd be saying. This is a golden pecan right here. And I'm going to just put it on it all. See how it looks. We can put it on here. Is it getting any of them white spots? It don't look so bad, does it? You really soak it in. Sort of like that. Time I get that top ring on there. That'd be a beautiful bowl, won't it?
Okay. It is for safety. I'm gonna put this in there. Nothing but a old drill bit in a uh, live center Jacobs chuck. And I like to uh, you know, I got one that's questionable, which this one is. I like to put this in there so if it does come off, it really can hit the floor. Hit this side right here, and I'll get the cold draws out, and we'll mix up some epoxy and put it right there. Well, I want to show you how I did this before I parked it for the night. Uh, I didn't bother, you know, showing, you know, drilling the holes and sanding and all that. It's the exact same procedure here. I just want you to see that, you know, use a set of cold draws and that ring and uh, epoxy it up, and I got it, got it on there, and it. Uh, Maybe there too tomorrow Let's morning. Work it up a little bit and see what we got. Yeah, see it's got a little bit of a soft wood, so it ought to be pretty easy to do that. Anytime you're going to do a burn, you got to have a little trail for it to follow or to walk on you, maybe. So I'm going to do the same thing here I did down there. That's just a piece of walnut, and I'm turning it at a thousand, and I just basically stick it to it. I think I'll do this one right here this time. And it's going to be smoking. Cleaning up his inside.
Take that again. Leave it there until tomorrow. Well, it'll be the next morning again. This feels pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some hot steel wool and then put some uh, cedar on it right now. Well, this part on, only has the stain on it, so I want to get any residue off. It's in the bottom, and then I'll put some regular cedar on it. Right. It's dead dry, and he was more still on do it one more time, and we'll he would paste cedar. All right, I'm going to switch gears just a little bit. Uh, I just got done with four out steel wool, running it across that. Feels pretty good. So I'm going to switch to uh, using water-based polyurethane. I'm going to put about two coats on it and, uh, you know, steel wool it, and then we'll come back with the paste. And, all right, I'm going to give that a while to dry, and then we're going to do it again. But I got two coats of it on and steel wool, so I'm getting ready to uh, put the ash paste to it. There you go. And we'll see what happens. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let that sit a while. I've never done that. I've always just gone after it. I think I'll do that. Because most waxes, you got to let them sit a while before you buff them off. So let's see if that makes a difference. It's been a few minutes. I'm about tired of waiting. So let's see what we got here. spots here but other looks really good yep time to flip it around so we can't get that tin off of there yeah the new piece that's kitchen shelving here it uh, the other one's been using it for several years and it's getting a little frayed stain in there and sand it and then we'll go to the laser it's a little while. well it's wrapped up I had a little problem at the end some of these pieces of walnut uh, were in grain and I just did not want to take the shine that I wanted no matter what I did so I just shot the whole thing with shellac uh, you know out of a rattle can and uh, actually I'm pretty pleased with it. I haven't, all I've done is shot it. I haven't done any buffing or rubbing or nothing. Uh, here's a, uh, I didn't, I didn't show, I didn't show the laser because I showed it in a whole lot of videos. But you can see there, there you go. And here's the bowl. I'll take some stills so you can get some nice pictures of it. There you go. So this is, uh, a bunch of walnut scraps and three different colored resins and I believe that's pine and I use gold and pecan uh, stain to stain it to get that sort of yellow look. Well, pecan look I guess. So anyway, there you are. Uh, sorry it's been so long, sorry this video is so long, but there's a lot of steps involved when you do something like this. And it's really sort of hard to show it in one video and I just don't like multi-part videos. I, have a hard time watching them myself, so I don't make them. But anywho, uh, I appreciate it. Give me a like, you know. Uh, subscribe, tell your friends, call your mama, and we'll catch you next time.